Hey guys, welcome to RPA feed and in today's video, we will be looking at difference between Power Automate and Power Automate Desktop. Both are from Microsoft. So let's get started. First, let's understand what is Power Automate in a in a simple two, three lines. So Power Automate, initially it was known as Microsoft Flow and it's an workflow service that automates action across most common apps and services. So in short, it's an online service wherein you can automate your tasks between various applications. Like if you are using, if you want to trigger an email on certain action, you can do that. If you want to update an Excel, compare to Excels automatically based on some rules, you can do that using Power Automate. Great. Now, this is how the Power Automate screen looks like. Once you create an account on Microsoft Power Automate, you get this screen. Let's see an example. So this is how you get the, like whenever you hit flow.microsoft.com, you will be presented with this kind of uh, home screen. Here I have created a, my account, Microsoft account, and I'm logged in with that. You get a lot of other, these options in the online version of Microsoft Power Automate. So let's move back to our presentation. Next is Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. So Power Automate Desktop is an enterprise level RPA tool, which is created for automating desktop centric workflows. So Power Automate, which we have seen earlier, uh, that was web based. And this is the software with, uh, which is a desktop based. So Microsoft call this as an, as their attended RPA solution. And this is available for you to download. If you are a Windows 11 user, you can download it for free and start using it from powerautomate.microsoft.com website. You can see, you can click the highlighted button, start for free and you will get an option to download this. Once you download, uh, you will, you can, you can see uh, as we have showing you for Windows 10 also, it's free. You can download it for free. For Windows 11, the option is, uh, uh, like you get a personal desktop flow on your machine uh, from your start menu you can launch the app directly and this is how it looks like once you install the power automate this is kind of window you get and in the left hand side you see the available list of action commands wherein you can drag and drop and use them right similar to a360 in automation anywhere a360 platform you might have seen our videos it's kind of similar to that, but A360 is in cloud-based. This uh, is a desktop software. Moving ahead, you can watch our YouTube video, what is Microsoft Power Automate, wherein we have given all the introduction about the entire introduction about covering Power Automate and Power Automate desktop and how to get started with it. The so basic level video, you can watch it to gain some basic idea. So now let's coming to the differences. Uh, there is a lot of confusion between Power Automate and Power Automate Desktop. If we have the same software tool, then why there's a different version, like different versions, one for desktop, one for uh, online. So because there are there are different use cases for both the purposes. First, Power Automate is web-based automation tool, whereas uh, Power Automate Desktop is totally desktop-based software. You need to install, you get an installer, you need to install and then you need to create your workflows. Whereas in Power Automate, you can just create your account, sign in and start using it. It's a cloud based. And then in Power Automate, you get pre-programmed workflow templates. In Power Automate Desktop, you don't get any pre-programmed or workflow templates as such. So this is the, these, these are the templates. Uh, once you log into the Power Automate online version, uh, in the left hand side, you have a templates option wherein you can see the pre program already configured or ready to use templates. This option is not available for you in Power Automate desktop. In Power Automate, you get you don't get any uh, web or desktop recorders to record your screen or to record any object. But in Power Automate desktop, you get these options web recorder and desktop recorders. So using this recorder command, you can launch the, uh, those actions. Then in Power Automate, there are no pre-built actions available. 
but in power automate desktop there are pre-built actions that you can use so these are the list of actions available and ready to use in power automate you have automatic flow triggers whereas in power automate desktop you don't get this option so this is uh, how the flow triggers look like so when a new email is received what to do this was just an example with office 365 outlook application there are many other triggers available then that's all for the differences what to choose both are great tools and both are similar kind of tools with some uh, extra features and extra um, uh, usps give uh, they, they are specific for uh, their use cases so it totally depends on your requirement and your use case which tool you should use just to try it out or power automate desktop is is a great one to have you can try out both the tools and then decide which one to get it but the power automate online version comes with a all uh, the features that are there in uh, the online version are premium you get to have a subscription uh, for using all the features so basic features come into free whereas for all the features if you want to use them you need to pay a subscription price so that's all guys for this video did you try power automate let us know in the comment section below thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification again thanks for watching